in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you. Brothers and sisters in Christ, on this Thursday of the third week of Easter, we take a moment to acknowledge our sins so that we can enter more fully into the great mystery of our Lord's resurrection. Lord Jesus, you came to reconcile us to one another and to the Father. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you healed the wounds of sin and division. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you intercede for us with your Father. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to life everlasting. Let us pray. Be present to your family, O Lord, we pray, and graciously ensure those you have endowed with the grace of faith an eternal share in the resurrection of your only begotten Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. The angel of the Lord spoke to Philip, Get up and head south on the road that goes down from Jerusalem to Gaza, the desert route. So he got up and set out. Now there was an Ethiopian eunuch, a court official of the Candice, that is, the queen of the Ethiopians, in charge of her entire treasury, who had come to Jerusalem to worship and was returning home. Seated in his chariot, he was reading the prophet Isaiah. The spirit said to Philip, go and join up with that chariot. Philip ran up and heard him reading Isaiah the prophet and said, do you understand what you are reading? He replied, how can I, unless someone instructs me? So he invited Philip to get in and sit with him. This was the scripture passage he was reading. Like a sheep, he was led to the slaughter. And as a lamb before its shearer is silent, so he opened not his mouth. In his humiliation, justice was denied him. Who will tell of his posterity? For his life is taken from the earth. Then the eunuch said to Philip in reply, I beg you, upon whom is the prophet saying this? About himself or about someone else? Then Philip opened his mouth and beginning with this scripture passage, he proclaimed Jesus to him. As they traveled along the road, they came to some water, and the eunuch said, look, there is water. What is to prevent my being baptized? Then he ordered the chariot to stop, and Philip and the eunuch both went down into the water and he baptized him. When they came out of the water, the Spirit of the Lord snatched Philip away, and the eunuch saw him no more, but continued on his way rejoicing. Philip came to Azotus and went about proclaiming the good news to all the towns until he reached Caesarea, the word of the Lord. Let all the earth cry out to God with joy. Let all the earth cry out to God with joy. Bless our God, you peoples, loudly sound his praise. He has given life to our souls and has not let our feet slip. 
Let all the earth cry out to God with joy. Hear now, all you who fear God, while I declare what he has done for me. When I appealed to him in words, praise was on the tip of my tongue. Let all the earth cry out to God with joy. Blessed be God who refused me not my prayer or his kindness. Let all the earth cry out to God with joy. Alleluia, alleluia. I am the living bread that came down from heaven, says the Lord. Whoever eats this bread will live forever. Alleluia, alleluia. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Jesus said to the crowds, No one can come to me unless the Father who sent me draw him and I will raise him up on the last day. It is written in the prophets, they shall all be taught by God. Everyone who listens to my Father and learns from him comes to me. Not that anyone has seen the Father, except the one who is from God, he has seen the Father. Amen, amen, I say to you, whoever believes has eternal life. I am the bread of life. Your ancestors ate the manna in the desert, but they died. This is the bread that comes down from heaven so that one may eat it and not die. I am the living bread that came down from heaven. Whoever eats this bread will live forever. And the bread that I will give is my flesh for the life of the world. The Gospel of the Lord. Dear friends in Christ, throughout this week, we have been meditating and reflecting on Jesus' long discourse about the bread of life. This discourse began with the crowd asking Jesus for a sign from God. Then we learn that Jesus himself is the sign from God. There is no further need for any other sign than the sign of Jesus, because Jesus is the bread of life that has come down from heaven. And so at the end of today's gospel, Jesus says, I am the living bread that came down from heaven, and the bread that I will give is my flesh for the life of the world. You see, Jesus is the bread of life because he gives his life so that we can live. Whenever we receive Christ in faith, whenever we entrust ourselves in faith to Christ, then we are receiving the bread of life. But if Jesus gives his life for the life of the world, then we ought to do the same. And we do not, so we do not simply live for ourselves, but we ought to live for other people. Our life, like the life of Jesus, is a life given for others. And when we live in this way, then we become bread for the world as well. These days, there are many people, especially healthcare workers, who are living in a selfless and generous way. That is to say, they are giving their lives for others. They are imitating Jesus by giving their lives for the life of the world. To the extent we can, let us 
do the same. God bless you. Trusting in the generous and unconditional love of the Father, let us offer these petitions for ourselves and for the needs of the world. For church leaders, may God guide their efforts in sharing the gospel message. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those who hold position of civic authority, may the Spirit of the Lord lead them in serving their people with charity, justice, and compassion. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those who struggle each day to feed themselves or their families, may God give them strength and lift them from their difficulties. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For this faithful community, may God grant us the zeal and faith of Philip as we announce the gospel of the Lord in our daily lives. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those who have died, may they see God in all his splendor in heaven. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Heavenly Father, we bring these petitions knowing that your love surpasses our understanding. We ask that you hear and answer our prayers according to your will, through your Son, Jesus Christ. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil, graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of the Church, and graciously grant her peace and unity according to your will, who live and reign forever and ever. May the peace of the Lord be with you always. Brothers and sisters, although we cannot receive the bread of life, the Eucharist, in the sacrament today, let us now take a moment to be in spiritual communion with Jesus. And as we are in spiritual communion with him, we are in communion with each other and with God the Father. Let us pray. Almighty ever-living God, who restore us to eternal life in the resurrection of Christ, increase in us, we pray, the fruits of this Paschal Sacrament, and pour into our hearts the strength of this saving food through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit.
Go in peace to love and to serve the Lord.